Demystifying the phrase, go figure. Hello, language enthusiasts. Today, we'll delve into a popular English idiom that you might have heard in casual conversations or movies. Go figure. Let's break it down and explore its meaning, usage, and origin. Literal meaning. If we look at the words, go, and figure, individually, go, is a verb that indicates movement, and figure, can mean a number or a form. However, combined, they don't retain their literal meanings. Idiomatic meaning. In the English language, go figure, is an idiom used to express surprise, irony, or the fact that something is unexpected or puzzling. It's a way of saying, isn't that surprising? Or, who would have thought? 1. Surprise at the obvious. Imagine it's been raining all day, and someone says, well, the ground is wet. You might respond with, go figure. This implies that it's obvious the ground would be wet since it's been raining. 2. Irony. Let's say a friend who never studies gets a low grade on a test. You could say, he didn't study and got a bad grade. Go figure, here, the phrase is used sarcastically, as it's no surprise to you why he got a low grade. 3. Genuine puzzlement. If something genuinely baffles you, you might use the phrase. For instance, she said she was on a strict diet, but I saw her eating a huge ice cream sundae. Go figure, here, you're expressing confusion at the contradictory behavior. While the exact origin of go figure is debated, it's believed to be a shortened version of the Yiddish phrase, go figure it out. Over time, as with many idioms, it was adopted and abbreviated in American English and became the go figure we know today. Go figure is a versatile phrase in the English language, capturing surprise, irony, and genuine puzzlement. It's a testament to the richness of the language, where two simple words can carry such depth of meaning. We hope this video has shed some light on this interesting idiom. Remember, language is a living entity, always evolving and adapting. Until next time, keep exploring and enriching your linguistic journey.